Hello, everyone. Very good evening to all of you. Um, as we start the season of entrance exam, I just wanted to meet all of you once and wanted to wish best of luck to all of you. I hope that, uh, you know, all of you give the best of your capability in the upcoming exams, especially GATE exam and IIT exam, which is scheduled in the next two weeks, right? For uh, the upcoming GATE exam, but the syllabus is very easy. Just have confidence in yourself and I know you will be able to crack it. The, you know, I can, I can go ahead and bet that uh, the amount of preparation that we have put in, right? And uh, the amount of revisions that we have done, right? you will surely go ahead and you will surely get through good universities. The only thing that I would like to suggest here is not to panic. A lot of times what happens is you might have done your 100% throughout the year. You might have done very well in the mock tests. You might have done very well in your semesters. But when you sit for these entrance exams, somehow you panic. Somehow, you know, you go ahead and you lose your confidence. That should not happen. Whenever you, you, you read a question and you think, Ki, this is, this is difficult. This is out of syllabus. Take deep breath. Believe me, if you are not able to solve a question, it means nobody is able to do that. It means that everybody around you also would find that question difficult. It is not only what you are finding difficult. So there is no need to panic. Entrance exams are always relative, right? It is always with what has been done by the others. So if it is difficult difficult then it is probably difficult for everyone. Maybe it is the question difficult. Hai. There is no need to panic. You just have to keep your calm. In those two and a half, three hours of time period, and believe me, you will get through. Nothing can stop you. Right? There is another thing which happens. It used to happen a lot with me. So I, I just wanted to share that with you. So I was one of those students who would go ahead and who would literally do each and every topic in much detail. And a lot of times when I would look into a question, I would feel, yes. And I would just quickly go ahead and mark the answer and move on. And later on, I would realize that once I was out of the hall, that no, the question was actually asking something else. And I ended up marking on the basis of what I had read before in the in, in my preparation time. But question to manipulate karki kuch Right? Like for example. I'll give you a small example. Just for example, all of us know that, uh, you know, perfect competition is the first best option. Huh? And we know that uh, monopoly creates debt weight loss. And there is a question which says that uh, in, in market structure, that among these markets, which creates the maximum debt weight loss, right? And in, in your preparation, when you were preparing, but that question was not asking about what creates maximum dead weight loss, but that question was asking which market has minimum dead weight loss. Or apne jaldi jaldi mein final answer mein, you marked monopoly in the final answer. It's incorrect, right? It should have been perfect competition. It creates no dead weight loss. So you should not, be, not also be overconfident. Aisa nahi hai ki because you have seen a similar question, exactly that question has been asked in exam. Read through the question. Be at your calm. Relax yourself. Give your 100% in the day. Always carry your water with you. Take some sip of water before entering the hall. Right? Make sure that you are well equipped with whatever you require in the final exam. Oh, I forgot my pencil. I forgot my pen. I should have carried a pen, right? So make sure that you are well prepared today 
for the exam which is day after okay and i am never ever um, i would say a promoter of uh, studying at the environment i kind of hate when students are uh, you know studying just outside the hall or they're just studying uh, a night before exam it always instead of increasing your confidence it actually loses your concentration if you are studying a night before exam till 2 2 am 3 am and you are not taking adequate sleep believe me you will make silly mistakes in the exam and there is we cannot take risk there is no next chance next chance will come next year so we need to make sure that to give our 100% we take adequate sleep we take proper meal in the morning we go ahead and we reach the examination hall on time right and we don't compare ourselves with others let us focus on what we have prepared maybe somebody comes and just goes ahead and tells you are you didn't do public economics wo to sabse important hai out of 40 question 30 usi mein se aayenge don't believe wait for the exam to come wait for the question paper to be in front of you so whatever you want to revise revise it by tomorrow afternoon at max right please give some rest to your brain before you go ahead and step out for giving the exam i wish you all the very best i know all my students right they are going to go ahead and do wonders okay beta best of luck for your exams thank you